Hey gang, Ronan here. As you can see in this game, we've got Papa Pixelit in the Tier 8 Cleveland and Flagstaff 2016, known as Rocket and ICOP, playing in the Bismarck. This is an all Tier 8 match. CB's in, in, the, in the game, and a couple of enemy... Uh, <laughs> A couple of the enemies are uh, are icons. I don't know very much about this game beyond what was in the uh, accompanying email, which was was sparse, which suggests that the the icon battle went well. The larger battle, maybe not so much. It's not often these days that we get an opportunity to shoot at one another. On Tuesday nights, a lot of us try to get together to run operations, which is uh, really just a good way to get together and have a few laughs and play as a team. Of course, you're not able to really shoot each other, not in the same way. <laughs> I mean, you can shoot each other, it just doesn't, uh, well, it's not as satisfying. So getting a chance to square off against some ICOPs on another team in a random is, is pretty pretty fun. Now, of course, one of those ICOPs is is playing the CV. Expecting that. Lead sled puts some shots in the air, and well, that goes roughly a third of Upper Pixel its HP. I, I personally feel like the Le Fantasque, um, oh, I understand he wanted to get inside of an AA bubble, but the angle that he took in order for Papa Pixel to be able to avoid slamming into him was was one that kind of forced Papa Pixel to turn broadside. Now, maybe he had, it would have turned out anyway, but um, I think I probably would have just kept going on my more northerly line and let the left on task crash into me. But <laughs> be that as it may, <laughs> the uh, the damage is done. So we've got Le Fantasque and Le Terrible who essentially ceded the, the Bravo cap to the bad guys. And we're gonna have three DDs a day and our Kagero is uh, he's angled against the aircraft, but he's, he, well, he's broadside to the aircraft, he's angled against potential torpedo strike. There's Reger and his Vladivostok, which is a very nasty ship. The uh, question of commander build often comes up. I've had some requests in chat um, in the comments section here since I started doing this, asking for commander builds. Papa Pixelit very, very kindly did send that, which is the thumbnail. And if you can't make it out, you know, make it just make it a note here in the comment section, and I'll uh, I'll come back and post it up for you later. I think it's it's pretty easy to tell which ones. Lead sled making a big push. He's got his secondaries firing, but there are a lot of enemy ships here, and I, I have a feeling lead sled's probably not going to survive this encounter. And down he goes. Papa Pixelit picks up the kill. Lead sled might have just determined I'm going to die anyway. I might as well try and get my secondaries working. Now, Reacher's over there on the map edge, and we'll 
soon be running for his life. I mean, he's got uh, Cleveland, Bismarck, Al Notorio, and three DDs, two of them gunboats. Al Notorio's about to die. He just keeps pushing right into the enemy crossfire. Reader's probably going to finish him off if Charles Martel doesn't hear him. He is burning. So we've got an enemy DD out there. See the torpedoes, and you can also see the smoke. Rocket puts a shot out on Charles Martel. German dispersion trolls him hard. I don't know that he made any contact there. And Reacher does finish off all the Torium. So the bad guys have secured both the Bravo and the Charlie Cap and the enemy have a two ship to one sunk advantage. I was doing all he can to help, but you know, let's face it, in the game right now, AA does next to nothing. Like a lot of you, uh, I can remember when uh, at Tier 6, at Cleveland uh, flew under a bunch of aircraft. Uh, it would be difficult for the aircraft to survive. These days, yeah, uh, those days are gone, I guess is a good way to put it. to finish off that Charles Martel. These very, very floaty U.S. cruiser, light cruiser shell trajectories. It's tough to land shells at that range. Almost 10 seconds to get them out there. It's plenty of time for the bad guys to turn. Actually, 12 and a half seconds to get the shells out there. Friendly Kigero has, uh, at least to my mind, wisely headed for the Bravo cap. He's going to try and help hold that cap. Kutuzov's in there by himself. I mean, he's probably smoked up. My rocket just ate a torp. Yeah. Um, Depending upon what the enemy North Carolinas and uh, Tago do, it's possible that the friendly North Carolina might be taking shots from the northeast. Papa and Rocket are <laughs> just just pummeling Ranger. Ranger is bringing his nose to starboard, so he's probably about to fire. Guessing he's going to put shells on top, but we'll see. If he gets in, yeah, here come some shells. Just a little chip damage. He gets the rest of his guns off before he gets sunk, because he is he is about to get sunk. And down he goes. So, Papa Pixelit gets the last shot on lead sled and the last shot on Reger. to contend with. Le Terrible and Le Fantasque. Um, I was kind of hoping to see them stay more on the north side of things rather than heading where they're heading, but um, what are you going to do? The enemy Benson's almost dead. If somebody can get guns on him, he will be gone. Friendly Kagero goes down, but he takes the Bismarck with him, LaFantasque takes out the enemy Benson, who was, what, he had like 180 hit points or something. I, I couldn't tell exactly. 
Charles Martel, he's uh, he's not long for this world. Anybody gets a shot on him and he's sunk. Enemy Akazuki, also in bad shape. The Otago did push south. If you can't see the Lexington yet, it won't be long. Papa Pixel is doing all he can, shooting down aircraft, but the strike does get away. And the rocket looks like he had to repair there. 23 aircraft shot down now. Good guys are down five ships, bad guys are down five ships. Bad guys have about a 125 point lead, more or less, and uh, good guys actually are looking pretty decent right now. Kazuki goes down, that gives the good guys six ships to six ships as the friendly North Carolina dies to fire from one of the two enemy North Carolina, which did push south on the 10 line and got his broadside. Incoming torps. Shouldn't be too hard to evade these. Now without a DD up here, capable of spotting the enemy DD, which is, is a definite threat. Both of our heroes are, uh, well, under threat, more or less constantly. It's going to have 20 more seconds to be able to smack the Cossack around a little bit. You can see Rocket's secondaries on the Bismarck are opening up. Looks like the Cossack lost his engine there. has repaired. Radar is down. Hey, look at that. Hi, squid pen. back up. And Papa's going to change targets, try and help finish off that Cossack. Just never know when the torpedoes are going to arrive again. He's got the Cossack burning. Well, Cossack nicely done. <laughs> Takes out a friendly DD and finishes off Rocket. Cossack is, uh, is a nasty threat. You know, it can throw torpedoes at individually, so you can angle up perfectly and it can just hit you in the nose repeatedly. Squid Pen is doing his best here to uh, Really make Papa Pixel pay for getting this close. No flooding, thank goodness. At least not that time. Anti aircraft gun crews are on normal alert. Trying to move into more of a broadside angle here. I think he's going to be able to finish Squid. I don't see any way for Squid to survive this, but. Down goes Squid. 
Well done, Squid. You, you played a good game. I, actually, um, all three of you guys did. But of the iCops in the game, Papa Pixelit is all that remains. Now, if you've been watching the minimap at all, you can see that the friendly Lexington has been running along the J line trying to get away. The Otago finishes off the friendly Amagi. And this is still a very close game. Papa Pixelid is not repairing because he doesn't want to get set on fire again, but he's finished off all the aircraft now. So he can repair. It's actually a really close game. Good guys do have an advantage in the fact that uh, they have two camps, but Le Terrible is... Well... Yeah, I'm not going to judge. I think I probably would have been running for the Bravo camp, but uh, without a CB in the game, you can secure Charlie, but that just allows the enemy ships to have maybe have a Tago push to hold B and um, the DD, which is probably what's in the Bravo cap right now, just to, uh, to move on over to Alpha. However this ends up, I think it'll be close. <clears throat> yeah, if this is your second game, Lexington, you're doing really well, brother. The fact that you didn't just sit in one spot and get sunk is, um, well, kudos. <clears throat> Nicely done. And there's the North Carolina. You don't want to get oh, Zebo. You, you, no sense being ugly. <clears throat> don't want to get spotted by the North Carolina. Figaro is heading for the Alpha Cap. Papa Pixel and helps to secure the Charlie Cap, and Le Terrible is now almost certainly going to run into the Bravo Cap and try and hold that. Seven point spread here. This is a really close game. <clears throat> Kagero has, uh, what, 9,782 hit points. And he's pushing right at the Lexington. Although we can't see the Otago on the minimap, I bet he's close to being in firing range of the Lexington. And the Kagero may smoke up here, if he's still got smoke, to avoid taking any more damage from the Lexington aircraft. But if Kagero spots the Lexington with the Otago in range, Lexington's not going to last too long. Looks like Papa is uh, probably wisely avoiding crossing the Bravo cap. Looked like he was thinking about helping to secure it, but he guessed right that the North Carolina was moving in close to be able to blap him. being seen. And Otago is in range of the Lexington. It really is just going to come down to can the Otago finish the... Yeah. Kagero gets the Lexington. And ladies and gentlemen, that is going to give the game to the bad guys. Uh, Le Terrible is... 
Well, he's running. I don't see any way for the good guys to finish off the North Carolina, and that's really the only thing in range. Looks to me like Kagero might have smoked up. I don't think the enemy, the uh, friendly aircraft, have a chance here. Although I'm sure he's doing all he can. So I will say, thanks very much for sending the game replay file, Papa Pixel. It good job, all the iCops. It was a really fun game to watch. If you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time.